Dudes, Mr. Bruce here. Today's book is from the Cat in the Hat book and it is The Tree Doctor. It's about a doctor that works on plants. But before we get started, eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices are quiet, and body calm. The Tree Doctor, with no further ado. Breakfast, called Sally. The pancakes are hot. Let's find out how much maple syrup we've got. Treve gives sap to make syrup, said Nick, but this one is so small, we can't make any syrup. No fun. I smell pancakes, the cat cried. Oh, I hope I am right. I love golden pancakes, fluffy and light, with sweet maple syrup. Oh, pour me some, please. It's my favorite thing that we get from trees. We've got pancakes, said Nick, but unfortunately, no sap to make syrup from our maple tree. Not to worry, the cat said, today I'll take you to meet the tree doctor and he will know what to do. The tree doctor. Meet Dr. Twiggles. He takes care of trees. He swings through the branches. He hangs by his knees. Hello, said the doctor. Yes, it's up to me to respond and treat every tree emergency. If your pine is in pain or your oak's not okay, call me night or day and I'll be there right away. Now what brings you three to the wild woolly wood? Our tree's not growing, answered Nick, as it should. Little tree, said the doctor, how are you feeling? Are your twigs in a twist? Has your bark been peeling? Hmm, the color is nice and dark, stem is not bumpy, branches aren't brittle, and the twigs are not lumpy. But these leaves are dropping, and that means I'd say I should check your tree's roots, and I should do so right away. Check the roots, Sally asked. How can you do that? To the thingamajigger, cried the cat in the hat. Flip the thriller, madrilla, and you'll see if, if it's all and if it's ill. And if you've never seen tree roots, well, very soon you will. They're going to take that machine and go down into the earth. Look, said Nick, this really is neat. The roots of a tree are like a tree's feet. Absolutely, the cat cried, I happen to know. Roots soak up food and water, and they help a tree grow. Look how big those roots are. Now I've got it, the doc said, and now I see why your tree isn't growing. The soil is too dry. It needs water, the cat asked. I know what to do. This is a job for thing one, and you guessed it, thing two. Those two things jumped out and they gave a big yank to the crank on the side of the thingamatank. But they turned it too far and they turned it too fast and water shot out in a soaking wet blast. Woo! Good job, said the doc. But our work is not done. To get healthy, your tree needs lots and lots of sun. I know, cried the cat, your tree will feel right when my bright a lighter gives it sunlight. Oh, look at that machine. It's a light-up machine. Now just wait, said the doc. In 40 years, you can tap your tree and make syrup from the maple sap. 40 years, said Nick. When our tree is that old, our stack of pancakes will be really, really cold. No problem, said the doc, for I have right here some syrup that I made in the spring of last year. And I have something else. I have a bag of maple keys full of maple tree seeds to grow even more trees. Back home, Nick said, this syrup is good and I had lots of fun in a wild woolly wood. Eat up, said the cat. Then I need your help, please. After breakfast, let's go and plant and plant. What do you think?
more maple trees. The end. Well, now we know where maple syrup comes. They drill a hole in the tree and a little blood comes out. It looks like tree blood. And that's sap and you boil that. And that's where you get your syrup from. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, I want you all to please be good to your folks. And remember, wash your hands. Bye-bye. <laughs>